Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Lucia, welcome to my channel. So today I'm coming with non-sewing video. So I'm not going to be making any clothes here, but I will be making something. And the idea behind it is very simple. I have been struggling with uh, finding enough motivation recently and not because I don't like what I do, opposite, it's everything I ever wanted to do. I love it, but uh, sometimes having too many ideas, uh, at least this is how it works for me, sometimes having too many ideas, it creates chaos in my brain. So in order to be productive and motivated, I have to find a way how to make myself organized. So I have been already writing down lists, drawing on the paper and so and so, but I'm a very visual person. I need to have things in front of my eyes, otherwise I will forget about them. But also I do not appreciate visual clutter in my room. This can be quite distractive on my creative process. So I have to find something in between. Recently I have watched the video from uh, Lydia Naomi here on YouTube, where she also created sort of planner that you can hang on the wall. So definitely I was heavily inspired inspired by her, even though I take my own twist on that, uh, but I will explain you just in a second. So there are three important points. First one, aesthetic. It needs to be sort of in my aesthetic, which means it has to fit in this room. Second, it has to be fairly simple in order that I can keep up with it. And the final and the third is it has to be adjustable. So I can allow myself to simply just change my mind about certain projects because maybe I don't want to do it anymore or maybe change the date of the project. Simply, I don't want to put too much pressure on my shoulders because I know some people work perfectly under high amount of pressure and uh, I, I do appreciate a little bit of it, but not too much. Uh, otherwise, I just turn and I go opposite direction and that's doing exactly nothing. So, now that I explain my idea, let's just go ahead and start working on it. So, I would like to create some sort of hanging uh, where I will be able to pin pictures of my ideas. It's not always going to be exactly the thing that I'm going to make, but at least something that I'm heavily inspired by. So I found recently in a thrift shop uh, this heavy duty cotton canvas. So I thought it would be quite perfect for this project. I have two wooden dowels that I already cut it the length that I need. Then of course some cord to hang it. And here I printed a couple of pictures from my Pinterest board that I'm inspired, that I'm planning to remake. Uh, I have my planner here to have an idea when approximately I want to do these things. I have a paint that I will be using to paint on the canvas here and foam roller, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. Uh, I already went ahead and draw some type of grid, which is basically for a couple of months, uh, not for a full year. I don't need that, I don't need to plan so much uh, ahead. So a couple of months are more than enough and for each month I have four squares, that means four weeks. So each week I'm planning to, to create some kind of content. Uh, I already hem the edges of it. So now what I actually want to do is uh, to use a little bit of paint and uh, instead of just uh, drawing on this with a simple pencil, I just want to use this uh, paint and paint the grid with it. This is done. I have to say, it didn't take me too much time, uh, but still it needs to dry and after we need to do something with it. So I will put it aside, I will let it dry and while this will be drying, I will go ahead and uh, cut out all the pictures that I printed from my Pinterest board. I 
have my fabric that is dry but it is still a little bit of sewing today guys so what I need to do is to just check and measure how much fabric do I need to have in order that I can create a tunnel for this wooden dowel so I will just put a pin here and I will go ahead and sew it As you can see, I cut uh, the wooden dowel a little bit longer so that I still have some space here where I can tie the rope and hang it. On the bottom is not necessary, it will be there just for a weight. So now I have to repeat exactly the same thing on the bottom. It is finished, it is done, I just, I think I will just hang it on this uh, string. I got some kind of like a sticky hooks because I don't want to put any nails in this wall. And uh, I am thinking to hang it over here. Uh, I will see it really nicely from where I'm usually sitting and sewing. But I think first I have to remove this frame. And yeah, I think this would be a perfect place for it. So let me just do this quickly and then uh, I can go ahead and hang it. So as you can see it's very simple, I just printed out uh, the names of the months. As I said I don't have 12 but it doesn't matter, it's not important for me because I do not really like to plan so much further, so much in advance. So this is far more than enough for me. So the same thing like I did with the months, I'm going to do also uh, with the specific ideas. So I have four squares, which is four weeks. Every week is one project. So I will just go ahead and uh, look into my planner and have a better idea when exactly um, I'm going to make a specific project. Yeah, so I'm just going to do the same, pin them all and uh, then I will explain a little bit more about that. So as you can see, it's very, very simple system. Uh, basically, whatever you want to put on, you can pin. And because of that, you can just move things around. Uh, especially me, you know, I more often change my ideas, change my opinions about certain things. So, so if I decided, for example, I don't want to do any more this blouse, I can just remove it or move it to another date. I will bring you closer so you can see better because probably the sun is not in my favor right now. 
so I think I can show it to you like this better. So for example, this dress, I found a fabric in my stash that maybe I would like to use for this dress. So I just pin it here uh, in order that I know what I'm going to do, what is my plan of attack. But of course I can change my mind, but uh, I would really like to use as much uh, fabrics as I can from my stash. So I think this would be a perfect way. For example, this dress over here, I didn't find anything in my stash that I would like to use it for this specific dress. So I just wrote here uh, what kind of fabric I want to buy for it and also that I will probably need to buy a elastic uh, 5 centimeter wide so I just put it here it is there I will not forget about it for example this project here uh, I'm sorry if the camera is a little bit shaky but I'm holding it in my hand so for example this project over here I know that I want to make set I also pin the fabric there because I already have it so now I know when I make it and what I make it out of. So I can easily continue in this way and fill up all the squares that I have there for each month and I will have it in front of me 24-7. I can't forget about anything and I think it's quite cute here on the wall so again I can easily like change it and adjust it as I go and as I change my mind and another thing that I did I also took a samples of all my fabrics and I just put them in my uh, sketchbook for my design uh, ideas so I just put all of them here and like this I don't have to go and all the time just take all the boxes out and go through all the fabrics but this is much more comfortable way I know I didn't uh, create this idea but yeah I, I don't know why I didn't do it uh, before so now I will easily see uh, all my fabrics that I have I can't forget about any of them and uh, I can easily pair them with uh, all the projects that I have in mind so guys I guess this is it for today, uh, I hope it was clear this video, I hope that you understood my point, uh, maybe some of you uh, will get inspired by this, maybe some of you have better organization tips and if you do please leave them in the comments down below, I will be really really thankful if you can advise me on certain things. As I say, I just begin with this journey and uh, I'm just learning just like you. So any great ideas are more than welcome. If you didn't subscribe uh, until now, please consider subscribing or at least like this video if you did. And uh, I guess see you again soon with another great, hopefully great videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you soon. Bye. See you later. Keep my